What is up, guys? Um, strange, uncertain times we are in. I think everybody is aware of the coronavirus and its effect on the world right now. You guys are probably aware that big sporting leagues and sporting events and gatherings and stuff are, are getting canceled and postponed and stuff like that. Um, and the GFL is no exception to that. So we're having a meeting right now with Coach Newman to talk about... Uh, some of the possibilities and uncertainties and stuff like that. All right, guys, so um, I'm driving to pick up Devin right now. We have a, a meeting with the American Imports um, on the Unicorns uh, meeting to kind of talk about the uncertain times that lie ahead. Right now, we've had practice canceled this week. Uh, it's looking like our preseason game will be canceled, and we're just kind of facing a lot of uncertainty um, on how things will proceed, both with the team and with us, because we're in a bit of a unique situation where we are here in Germany to play football. Our contract is uh, for football, so we're going to talk with Jordan, um, get some more clarity on some of this stuff right now. Not bad, big dog. Not bad. No, bro, you're good. I'm early. That's good, bro. What's up with my guy, though? I'm going to go find out our fate right now. <laughs> yeah, for real. What's up, guys? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, how did he just come in? Who's got a key? It could only be you. All right, guys, well, the main reason I wanted to meet with you is so everybody can have some back and forth, all right? So y'all can ask me questions as much as I know. I can give y'all as much information as I can, talk to you about what possibilities could be coming. You know, we're probably not going to practice for another two weeks at the minimum. That's the minimum. It could be up to four to five to six weeks of nothing. Um, German Football League came out and said that nothing through the middle of April, um, but look to have the games move back to middle of May, possibly early June, and to me that's the best case scenario right now of what's going on. You know, and I'm going to be as real with you all as I can about all this um, because like playing games with no fans, we can't do. Like teams can't function if that happens. Um, so that for sure is out. Um, and now it's just a matter of do we lose games or how this is all going to work out. I mean, from everything I've heard on the virus, it's going to be this is not a three to four week thing. It's two to three months. We've all just got to be prepared for, I really don't know what, to be honest. So um, that's what I have right now. How do you guys feel? A lot of people's lives are going in a different path after this last week. How realistic is it for you that we'll actually play the season at some point? Gosh, I I don't know if I'm naive or whatever. I just would be shocked if we didn't play the season. Okay. I just would be shocked. I you think it'll, it'll go down and it'll you know work itself out. I just think realize. eventually, yeah, I think eventually by like June, by the summer. It'll be pretty much squashed, yeah. There's, I would think kids are going to be back in schools at some point. Elections will be done. What? <laughs> uh, incorrect. <laughs> Certainly incorrect. <laughs> I'm just throwing out possibilities, ideas on the table, all that stuff. So but but for sure, nothing until probably third week of April. Games or practices? Kind of both, right? He said nothing for sure. For I mean, weeks, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, there would be a game. I would say five weeks. If they're canceling schools for five weeks, yeah. they're not going to let us practice. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that, that leads us into the <clears throat> middle of April. Middle of April. Mm -hmm. middle of April. I would think best case scenario right now, we start first of June. That, that's, that's my feeling. Yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on the situation here and how the coronavirus uh, continues to affect our situation. I uh, hope you're all staying healthy out there. I'm not gonna try and talk about the coronavirus because I don't, I'm not smart enough to, but I would recommend uh, for any of you guys for some good straight up facts, information from an expert, listen to or watch this Joe Rogan podcast. The link is in the description. YouTube is apparently demonetizing all videos that are related to the coronavirus, which I think is kind of BS. Uh, we'll see if this gets demonetized also, but I think that's kind of BS. I mean, I understand the point is, you know, to not spread disinformation and stuff like that. Um, but uh, this is like a, the primary topic of the world right now. A lot of people are gonna be talking about this. And now with one of my jobs in jeopardy, I hope that this one isn't as well. Keep you updated. Stay healthy, wash your hands, keep watching YouTube, and hopefully all these videos don't get demonetized. See you guys.